Welcome to the risk Welcome back to our channel. So today, as you see from the topic, from the thumbnail, we are about to get serious. Now, I know it might be very awkward for my men, but I assure you it's not. You can totally watch because I'm sure you have ladies around you, whether it's your wife, your daughter, your sister, your, yeah, there is a, a lady figure in your life. So this might be very helpful. So I'd love you to share it all around so today we are talking about female hygiene and uh, now if your man doesn't like sniffing your undies something is wrong and in order to rectify that then keep on watching this video now in case you're clicking on this video for the very first time my name is miss rombo and I'm so happy to have you here. To join the Risk Squad, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to turn on that notification bell beside the subscribe button in order to be alarmed anytime I upload a video. So let's get into it. So before we went on that very short break, I introduced this video as a female hygiene one. Now in, in case someone does not understand what hygiene means, I'm going to define it and explain it in a very clear way. Now hygiene means, and as much as I'm going to talk about female hygiene in this video, I think that it is all rounded. So all the men can totally apply everything that I'm going to talk about, not everything, some things that I will talk about in this video. Now, first and foremost, and the most important is taking care of your insides. It is a phrase that it is commonly used even when referring to characters, your inner emotions, and even spiritually and I feel like in hygiene that is also important what do I mean by that I mean everything you eat and drink is eventually is what will come out as sweat or urine or feces and in females vaginal discharge so it's very important to mind what you're ingesting how frequent you're ingesting it and that way you can control how you smell now let's talk about what you eat and what you drink. Now I know sisi ni binadamu ukikatazwa kula hii usikule hii we are not very disciplined when it comes to that. So kama when you to you eat everything and anything I uh, just have a solution for you just try and make water your best friend. Now water is a very important element when it comes to smelling. So I'm just I'll just try and explain to you so that you understand. Now, let's say you eat a whole day without you taking water or any liquid. So, the number of times that you will go to the washroom will be minimized. And when you eventually do, then your urine will smell. Okay? That's like number one, your urine will smell. And it's because it's highly concentrated. And you can actually tell that from how your urine, from color your urine <laughs> from the urine color okay whatever women yellow so let me give you an example with someone who drinks alcohol and doesn't take water so when that person goes to the loo trust me you wouldn't want to be near that person when he or she is urinating or uh, maybe pooping ama vomiting 
okay or i may sweat in a haja hoga trust me so that that will tell you how important water is to your body when it comes to you know removing the waste from your body so let's give it a scenario where uh you haven't taken a lot of water and you've gone to the toilet and then you've urinated uh urine that is really smelling konkwan and then for ladies we do wipe ourselves down there anytime we go to the room so imagine let's say someone doesn't do that or a wipe na haja wipe poa and then you go on where your panty so your urine was smelling so maybe there are some droplets that remained and then you've worn your pant with all that and then you go and sit you're blocking air and uh, you're trapping that bad odor in your body so that cycle continues and then eventually you end up smelling and that's not good at all so i think the water part i'm so very clear now another thing that can help you smell good or avoid smelling bad is ingesting a lot of fruits now they say that uh it is said by scientists i don't know who says but um there are these particular fruits that when you eat them then you'll smell a lot better down there and uh, one of the fruits that i know of is pineapple so as much as these fruits are important for your health also try and think about them as important in how you smell so yeah that's it for your insights now number two we are now going to talk about your outsides and this i'm just going to talk about your entire body so we'll be back after the break welcome to the risk world welcome back so secondly now we want to talk about the outside part of the body and as much as most women or most ladies end up smelling just because of the smell down there the vagina then we are not going to assume all these other places that also contribute to how you smell so from that i'm talking about sweat which accumulates in the armpits and maybe on your neck uh, behind your ears maybe in your ears and how your breath also smells like and your hair not forgetting that and we're just going to talk about all this without leaving anything out okay so we're going to start with the hair the head and um this goes to most women who plate their hair or weave their hair and it happens so it happens that at times you can sweat at times you are rained on at times maybe magic will and nyuele and then you're like i cannot go back to the salon but you should be aware that that is how bad smell starts because again you're just ignorant so i just urge us women to take a little bit more care of our hair of how our hair smells like because it also contributes to how you generally smell okay it's it's it feels okay to just smell good upite mahali and you're like sasa ukipita pale and people are like it's not even pleasing at all so just try number two now let's talk about your mouth your teeth your tongue your breath the breath that comes out when you're talking that is also very important so that can be easily rectified by using a toothbrush water and toothpaste that simple <laughs> So if you know you you have a bad smell in your in your mouth then try as much as possible and uh brush your teeth anytime you eat anytime you take something then make an effort of brushing your teeth there's no mud around it just brush your teeth or you can actually use um the good smell I don't know but there is something that is used or you can eat um what are they called the pks and the mint and everything just to give you um a little bit of good smell in your mouth 
so next thing now we're going to talk about sweat and with sweat you can sweat all over your body but the most is accumulated uh where the image feature so all the places where at least kuna ma feature ma feature <laughs> dance or something of the sort then sweat will accumulate there so anytime you're showering just have that in mind that there are areas that have to be thoroughly cleaned so also aside from showering then you can then use perfumes there are deodorants sprays perfumes for bad smell just to help you with boosting that good smell so again there is no magic around it it's just showering and using perfumes and then that's it it's very simple wacha kutembea ukuki smell bad it's not good please please okay something that maybe is not really of interest for most ladies or for any human being is cleaning out your ear or the back of your ear now for the ears it's all about the wax so you can actually use just earbuds to clean your ears and then maybe when you're showering you can just you know clean it out kidogo using the thing that you used to you used to wash your body with yeah that helps a lot but this i think becomes an issue majorly for people who have a thing for licking their ears or doing something to your ears now this is sexual actually so i think it's also important to take care of your ears just make sure that the wax doesn't accumulate because again it can also smell and that can contribute to bad odor in now lastly we are going to talk about the two most important places that makes most women to smell and that is the armpit and the vaginal area when it comes to the uh, smell down there we've already talked about how urine can contribute to you smelling uh, bad uh, number two is actually uh, sweat which i think is the case for most ladies and um, that can be rectified by these two tips number one it's actually the secret is in the type of pant that you wear now there are the materials that suck in sweat like you know when you sweat kuna droplets and and stuff then uh, they get accumulated and kuna tu zilenini doesn't let out the air so they end up accumulating and then uh, finally of course the order down there just becomes mm -mm, bad of course and uh, number two it's actually in the pubic hair the pubic hair is the hair that grows qua armpits and nini apochini so the amount of hair you have also can also contribute to how you smell so take it this way hair uh, in a grow a lafu of course you're gonna space it so when you sweat these spaces uh kidogo they still retain that sweat so the hair just contributes to covering up that sweat instead of airing it out and then eventually sasa plus panty and you never again lafu labdu meva tena troza and then it's just blocked everything in and of course you just eventually end up smelling bad now for the armpits is something that it's very really easy just to make sure that you shave and then after that just use deodorants or sprays or perfumes anything that you feel comfortable using and not forgetting something that also helps is having intervals or breathing space uh yeah vagina ukochini so it's highly recommended that uh especially during the night that you don't sleep wearing something tight or better yet sleeping without underwear that way you can maintain a fresh and a nice smell and vaginal area welcome to the risk one So yeah, I guess that's it. There is no secret or magic to it. Just make sure that um, you shower, 
and do everything right and mind whatever you ingest and you'll just be good now i'll be back with uh a topic on sexual hygiene you really don't want to miss this so just make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that your alarm time in your later upload okay let me know in the comment section what you think and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up till next time bye